everyone. Welcome back. Old guy here. And uh, today I'm going to do the second of these uh, Cheetos mac and cheeses that we got. Uh, we did the jalapeno one and um, I used that to make uh, sauce for a cheesesteak and there's going to be a link for that one down below. This one is the flaming hot and just like the last one, I'm not going to use this to make mac and cheese. I'm going to use the, the powdered stuff on the inside to um, make something else. <laughs> and in this case, I'm going to use it on this Cornish hen here. A little Cornish game hen. And, uh, uh, I still think they use nuclear packaging on these things. Alright. <laughs> so, I'm um, going to kind of do your old shake and bake kind of thing here. Let's see how that, I have no idea how this is going to work, but we'll see. I've dried off this bird pretty well. It's still a little bit damp, so I'm hoping that this will stick nicely. We'll see. This old guy. Okay, there's the powder and there's the chicken. I'm gonna give it try and give it a little air in there so I can. Well, that's not working, but it should be enough air now. Let's see if I can just kind of get that shaking all over and get it really covered with that. I want to use as much of it as I can. Yeah, I'm going to bake this baby. Alright. Let's get this out. <laughs> okay, that coated pretty well. Not 100%, but pretty good. I'll probably uh, rinse that this little bit, probably get it down with a little bit of water into the corner, and uh, as I bake it, I'll try to baste it or something, but we'll be back before that. We'll see you in a minute. All right, so um, here's the chicken. Got it covered really nicely. <laughs> Never seen a chicken that red before, so. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna go in the oven. And come on over here, Mrs. Old Guy. Last second here. I was looking at all the spice left in the bag and I decided I needed to do something with that. So um, I added a little bit of water, just enough to kind of dissolve. And uh, I'm going to set that to the side for a second. And I'm going to reduce a little bit of white wine. And then I'm going to add this and see what kind of sauce I can make. Uh, so um, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so this wine is reduced down to just about nothing. And that's what I want. And I'm gonna add this in. I have absolutely no idea how this is gonna taste, so uh, we will see. i give it a little heat, see if it thickens up any, any at all. So this is a little bit of sauce to uh, to go on top once it comes out of the oven. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna wait and see what it tastes like when I taste the chicken too. So uh, the experiment continues. We'll be back. Okay, the chicken is ready to come out of the oven. Let's take a look at it. That almost looks like something from for Halloween or something. <laughs> well, it smells pretty good. And I decided that I'm going to make use of this juice. 
I'm going to put it right into this sauce here. Turn that back up and get it raging hot again. And that'll be a little bit of sauce to put on the chicken. Get this out of the pan. And I do think that uh, I'm going to cut this in half real quick just to make sure that it's done all the way and uh, so that each of us get a half. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so <laughs> this little experiment has uh, come to a conclusion here and I'm ready to give it a try. Um, and before I do, I just want to tell Val over at Trippy Food, thanks for your review with the Cheetos um, mac and cheeses. That's why I am doing this. So I want to thank you for that. And uh, before or without any further ado, I guess I'm going to cut this little leg off here. <laughs> Come on. All right. Looks nice and done. Oh, here's to it. Oh, try a little bit of sauce on there. Just drizzle a little bit. Here we go. Hmm. Sauce. Well, to be perfectly honest, <laughs> that isn't half bad. <laughs> um, I get a, I'm getting a little bit of heat from it. Not not a whole lot. Just kind of a little burn on the back of my tongue. Um, it's got kind of a cheesy kind of smell, but I really don't taste any cheese. Um, using the wine reduction in there with a little bit of water and then adding that broth to it, that really makes a huge difference. I mean, that's it turned out really good. If that is so good, I bet I'm going to do it again because uh, this, is this is delicious. So, hey. It doesn't hurt to experiment once in a while. Uh, this is, you know, I've got to just dive in here and tear this wing off. Ouch. And uh, take another bite because, man, I, whoop, I'm really surprised on how, mm, mm, how good that actually is. Mm, wow. <laughs> well, so I think I've found a new favorite. <laughs> Uh, so it doesn't hurt to experiment in your kitchen once in a while. And uh, I appreciate you watching. You take care of yourselves, and we're going to see you the next time around.